Hello everyone and welcome to another Meek Zero tutorial. Today we'll be working on uh, the tail, the mouth, and layers. Right now I'm going to start off with the tail. Just be this is basically an extrude job. You just extrude out, edit, extrude in, resize, extrude out again, and then I'll give it a really nice, um, basically a really nice shrunken in effect obviously as you see here and that's exactly what I want I want my tail to be weird and spiky-ish <laughs> and just resize those keep extruding, resize, resize etc. you get the deal And I'm just gonna fix those a little bit and make it look more spiky. <sighs> I am totally not bored. <laughs> and just add that. So, whoop. so, any opinions about Left 4 Dead 2? I cannot wait to get that game, oh my god. I loved Left 4 Dead 1. It was just awesome. I haven't played it in ever though, since my Xbox is toast. Cry. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty good. Now I do have a little mistake here, it, you might not notice, but I think I might have grabbed a vertice or two that I didn't want. And I'm basically going to extrude it with that. And I'm going to have this lovely deformity. So now I have to delete all that and try again. Well, not all of it, thank god, just that little part. Okay, here's when I fixed it. And just basically extrude, extrude. Resize, move in, move out. And... Almost done. And ta-da! We have our lovely, lovely tail. Just close that up and it's done. And, oh yeah, resize it. Move it back so that it really fits his ratio. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to work on the mouth. I've already deleted the faces near the mouth that I didn't need. And I opened it using the rotate tool. And the grab tool, which you could just use with the mouse. And I grabbed all those vertices near the mouth, and I just moved them in, and I created a lovely flat surface for the mouth. So now it doesn't look all see-through if he does open his mouth in game. Call that a little bit. And you basically do the exact same thing with the top. You could even add a tongue if you want right now. It's up to you. Uh, I'll add the teeth later. Those will, should be relatively easy. Just fix that a little bit. And now I'm going to add that little flap of, um, well, the flesh that connects the lizard's mouth. You see on almost every lizard ever. That looks pretty good. Okay, now we're going to um, work with layers. Go to object mode, and you'll see a bunch of little dots. I'll point to them out to you on the screen, or give you a screenshot, whatever. And I have already um, off-clicked my mesh. Did add mesh, select, plane. And I've loop cut them all, I've set them up. 
Now I'm just going to basically morph them into my dragon's fin. Now try to make it so that it moves just right so that it, it you don't have that little mesh deformity right there. There we go. But make sure it touches the mesh or else it's kind of useless. Okay, just resizing and rotating the usual. Oh god. <sighs> Move that out. Mess with that a little bit. And now we're gonna add some more loop cuts. That's K again. Move them a little and then just basically connect them to your image. Oh, and I'm also working on some images and models, and they're going to be put on my site. They're going to be worth a little bit, but um, they're pretty cheap, and you'll be and I'll be giving like a front view, a side view of random things. You could actually, if you actually want to, you can request what you want to see on my site or that you want to get and I'll do that for you I'll put it on the site just need to get it from there and I should do that and I should be able to do that rel relatively soon also I selected all and I set smooth always set smooth it is your friend okay now you just select them all and extrude region and then you have the thickness of it perfectly and there it is thank you for watching meek zero's tutorials please subscribe and keep posted